yes so what we learn is python 3 so before python 3 we have python 1 and python 2 python 1 no one is using python 2 version people are using still people are using but uh, whatever whoever is using python 2 they have to shift to python 3 they have to migrate to python 3 only so what we learn is python 3 which is new version uh, <clears throat> but you people should also know about python 2 features also okay so as and when required when we are talking about python 3 i'll be telling you what is the difference between python 2 and python 3 uh but still still people are using still some of the companies are using python 2 so it is better to know what is there in python 2 also okay next so why python and when python started so apart from python right what are the programming languages you know any other uh, programming languages or any other software uh, domains can you please list out what and all you heard no need to know about those things just just let's list out first Yes, go ahead. Sorry. So what and all you heard in software industry? What are the domains are there or what are the programming languages? What are the technologies? So that so that you will understand what is the advantage of Python over them? Why we need to learn only Python when we have so many other things also? Yes, please. First, let's talk about what are programming languages we have. Maybe let me start with C and C++. Mm, after this, Java. Mm, Java. Next, we have some .NET. Correct. So these are the famous programming languages what we hear very regularly, right? So out of these four, right? So what do you think now? Now. Uh, nowadays Python is only we are talking about Python is kind of very booming technology booming programming language everywhere anywhere if you are to be in software industry you must know about Python so out of these things what do you know what, what do you think like Python is a new programming language or it's a old programming language yes yeah, please I want this as interactive session this is just a demo right Let, let's interact so what do you think like Python is new or old? Yeah, you can you can say yes or no new or old only two answers, right? So it's old. Correct. Yeah, so actually Python most of the people thinks that like Python is very new programming language because it is nowadays only booming nowadays only everyone is started using but actually it is one of the oldest programming language after C and C++ so Python is one of the oldest programming language so Java and .NET came much later actually Java Java came after almost five years later Python .NET came almost some ten years later than uh, Python so it was available to public in the year of 1991 actually it was developed in uh, 1989 but officially made it to public in the year of 1991 so that means after c, c and c plus plus python is one of the oldest programming language even though it is one of the oldest programming language it is not that much popular in olden days so before python these java and dot net uh, are, are very much famous pretty much used in the software industry but it was not used that much it was not used extensively when it was invented but from past 5 to 10 years only people started using python like anything and it is growing like anything nowadays right so it, it is it is like if you want to be in software industry you must know python nowadays everywhere irrespective of domain irrespective of technology right <clears throat> everywhere is python is getting used even though you use c or c plus plus java or dot net whatever it is whatever the technology you use so python is part of now any software in software platform or software industry software domain okay so if you see any job description right so generally we will be having two different things one is mandatory skills another is good to have skills so nowadays if you observe python will be there in good to have skills or mandatory skill in upcoming years definitely python will be mandatory skill so if you want to be in software industry you must know python so that much that much extensively it will be growing and it will grow because of it is having its own advantages we'll talk about all those things now 
even though it is one of the oldest programming language like java and data came much later than python but python was not that much famous like java and dot net nowadays only it is becoming famous because it was having its own disadvantages and advantages python is having its own advantages and disadvantages because of its disadvantages it was not that much popular earlier days but now those disadvantages are kind of negligible because of because of the powerful processors the powerful machines the amount of ram we use now right yeah anyway we will be talking about what are the disadvantages of python in uh, another session okay so first let's talk about what are the advantages and where and all we use python okay so first what and all domains you know like what and all web uh, what and all uh, domains we have in software industry like say for example I'll, I'll list out few of the things you can add some more things so first thing is some desktop applications desktop applications next is some web applications and another thing is some gaming industry gaming right say uh, uh, you can list out any other things what are domains you can you hear about what are the famous things you are hearing now nowadays what are the famous technologies you are hearing nowadays hmm? where and all we need software yes have you heard about artificial intelligence data science iot machine learning hmm? all these things you heard yes sir yes uh, these are another booming technologies the future is artificial intelligence data science and machine learning iot is not that much popular in india but nowadays yes people are using let's talk about one after another so <clears throat> desktop applications means a application which can run on its own once you install it will start running like take this notepad itself or take some uh, some player video player or audio player take some calculator application those kind of applications we call it as desktop applications because once we uh, once we install it right no need of any dependency it can run it start it can start running on its own so those kind of applications we call it as desktop applications so python is best suitable programming language to develop desktop applications web applications so web applications nothing but any websites websites where you need client and server based communication for all the web applications python is now best suitable programming language and another thing is some network applications network applications so network applications nothing but <coughs> where you need client server programming based model client server model so we use very regularly all the network applications like youtube facebook instagram twitter all the google all these are examples for network applications network applications so without these network applications do we imagine our <coughs> world now so if you take your smartphone what and all applications you have right all those are network applications only banking applications right any games all those things are network applications only so for network applications python is best suitable programming language best suitable programming language okay and gaming online gaming now gaming is one of the biggest industry gaming is one of the biggest industry so python is best suitable programming language to develop games and artificial intelligence data science machine learning all these comes under some single umbrella so we will be talking about these things in one or two other sessions because this is a very big topic but what we need to remember is for all these things python is best suitable programming language so if you observe all these things right apart from these desktop applications when python was invented in 1991 it came to use in 1991 so if you observe all these applications are becoming popular nowadays only in 1991 right in 90s early 90s or late 90s we do not have that much web applications usage nowadays every every company or every even small shopkeepers also want their own web application web website basically 
right even individuals also wanted their own websites for blog blogging purpose or, or some happy purpose right so web applications are so much popular now there are plenty of websites are available now correct and also these network applications like youtube or instagram or facebook when this started growing in in recent years only right and also online gaming so before gaming in 90s right the gaming means we used to have some uh, uh, video games kind of and uh, we do not have that much online games like pubg etc etc there are so many online games are there right now so gaming industry also very big now and uh, <clears throat> when python was invented gaming industry was not that much big online gaming industry and also of course these things so now if you see all these are popular technologies nowadays it is the usage is extensively growing for these technologies for all these things which is the best programming language python is the best suitable programming language so that is the reason even though it is one of the oldest programming language so it is becoming so popular nowadays because of the technologies what we use now for all the growing emerging technologies python is best suitable programming language so this is the reason this is one of the reason why python is extensively used you name any technology <coughs> python is best suitable programming language not only that even though say <coughs> uh, you have some old products or old uh, projects where we use cc plus plus or java or dot net now the beauty of python is even though you have some product or project which is developed some 20 30 years back now you want to add some new features to your project so as python is having its own benefits so we don't want to miss those benefits so some of the features to the existing project we can add in python means you have some product which is developed in c you want to extend that product or you want to extend that project so you can add some of the features by using python that means python can work with any other programming language also even though if your project program even though your product is having in uh, developed in cc plus plus you can add some of the features by using python even though you have your product or project in java you can add features using python even though it is in dot net you can add features in python python can work with any other programming language but not like c if you have c you can't java and c you can't combine java and dot net you can't combine these are independent completely but python can work with any other programming language this is another advantage that is the reason so why i'm saying like even though uh, if you want to be in software industry you must know python because of these things it ha it is having its own advantages not only that it can work with any other technologies any other programming languages as well so these are some of the reasons why python is becoming so popular nowadays because all these are new technologies new trending technologies apart from these things you hear any other things any other technologies or any other famous things we talk about hmm? any other things yes please robotics automation these things also new emerging technologies right so robotics so in order to develop robotic robotic programming so python is best suitable programming language automation so either it is software automation or mechanical automation like mechanical i'm nothing but again it comes to robots so software automation so nowadays <coughs> generally when we developed any software we need to test it right so previously we used to have only manual testers now also manual testers are there but now companies prefer automation testers even though companies having manual testers also they are insisting people to learn automation if you want to be in manual testing you you do not grow or you, your career is almost end now so for software automation also python is best suitable programming language so if you if you see all these things almost most of the our software domains are covered so everywhere is python is getting used extensively even though you know c c plus plus even though you are working on c c plus plus you need to know python actually i work on c and c plus plus 
but I use Python also even though you know Java you have to work with even though you are working on Oracle or any other thing database technologies and uh, .NET technologies web applications or network applications gaming industry robotics automation everywhere Python is getting used extensively because of its own advantages okay understood till now any questions everyone following yes sir yes. good to know right mm, let me share see these things anything we missed here yeah gaming industry web applications all these things for all these things python is very useful so actually if you take uh, uh, like instagram most of the instagram was developed in python so some portion of youtube was developed in python google uses python nasa is the biggest user of python so this is just a small list like this this slide i copy pasted from google who and all are using python so all all famous companies are using python like youtube ibm or amazon all not only amazon like uh, any any e-commerce site must use python facebook netflix right it, it is just a uh, <coughs> just to give an idea but on not only this every company uses python so but just to give an idea like what and all famous companies uses python nasa nasa is biggest user of python and biggest contributor to python okay so next so i'll talk about some of the features so first thing is it is very simple and easy to learn so simple in the sense easy to write easy to learn and also easy to read simple programming language means easy to learn easy to write write program easy to read also readability also very very important when you are writing a program or whenever you are developing a project right so generally a project will be developed by a group of members some 10 members or some 30 members sometimes hundreds of people right at that time readability actually really matters so whenever you are <coughs> say you have some 10 members of team so each one will be assigned different different tasks so end of the day all those tasks need to be combined then only your <coughs> product will uh, product will be complete correct at that time the readability is very very important whenever you are writing a code right it is it is it it, it has to be written in such a way that it should be understandable by others you may be writing in your shortcuts and all but readability is very 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 important whoever is you doing whatever the program you are writing whatever the task you are implementing it is not for you it is for all the team members right so it has to be readable by others readable nothing but in for uh, for simple example say i'll i'll write a some uh, program to add two numbers two numbers so how we add some two numbers in our uh, notebook something like this a equal to 10 b equal to 20 and c equals to some a plus b so where my result is there my result is there in c this is the variable name c i have given but same c you may be using somewhere else say some some after 20 or 30 lines of code or in another function you use some c you are making use of this c right so at that time see anyone is reading this variable they may not be understood what is there in this c instead of that what we may need to do you have to give some proper naming to that say some result result equals to or addition of two numbers equals to addition of two numbers addition of two numbers something like that so this is what we call readability so always you should give a proper name to your variable or proper name to your function it should convey what it is doing never use we should not use this single letter variables so a b c all these things we are very much habituated to use these kind of uh, names but it is not at all recommended so if you see this it should convey what it is doing because same variable we will use somewhere else 
at that time if other person is other team member is uh, reading this so what he has to do if you use like see he has to go through all the code what it is having what it is holding instead of that if you use addition of two numbers or result something like that if you give proper naming correct it will be very useful so that is what we call it as readability readability now we are saying python is very simple right so this is how we learn our mathematics so if you take some c programming language how we write our c programming language in order to add two numbers so how we start our c programming so first by including some header files if you if you are, do not have any c background that's okay uh, ignore it so we include some header files and uh, we start our program by from main something like this and also within the block we write our program and whenever we are using any <coughs> variables we must declare what kind of variable it is whether it is integer or float or uh, character like that so integer a integer b equals to some 20 semicolon end of statement and int c equals to a plus b A plus B. So you have to know here whenever you are declaring this C is a variable result, right? You have to know like what is the outcome after adding these two numbers, right? Where what is the result, whether it is integer or float. So based on that, you have to declare this variable, right? So after that, print this print print f and we give some format specifier, comma C. This is how we write our C program. So if any <coughs> if a if person who does not have any programming background any technical background it is difficult for them to understand what it is actually doing correct readability wise also it is not that much great and learning the syntax also not that much easy correct if you know the syntax then only you will be understanding what is this what is this program is doing and see this is how we learn our mathematics on our notebook in our third class or second class correct so this itself is a python program this itself is a valid python program now see how much how much difference is there how much easy to write a program in python when compared to other programming language so it is just like a simple mathematics and just like how we how we <coughs> uh, write our simple english correct this itself is a valid python program no need of no no need to learn so much of syntax and all very very when compared to other programming languages the syntax wise also it is very 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 simple simple programming language got it so maybe i'll i'll stop here now uh, uh you can ask any questions you have questions or doubts or whatever it is Yes, go ahead. Anyone want to ask anything? Course duration will be <clears throat> around two and a half months to three months. Only weekdays. Every day it will be one hour. Yes, any other things? Yeah, if not, that's all for today. Have a good day. Happy weekend.